Physiology is the study of normal function of living organisms. We may say it's a branch of biology that deals with normal functions of a living organism. We may also say that physiology is the way in which a living organism and bodily parts function. Let me repeat once again. Is the way in which a living organism and bodily parts function all together. That is physiology in another word. Let's see the branches of physiology. Physiology's branches are categorized according to so many criteria. The first one is by approach. So by approach you may find the applied physiology, the clinical physiology, and then nutritional physiology. But in our videos, we'll be focusing on clinical physiology because we are focusing on helping people in the clinical settings, settings, medical doctors, health sciences professionals. Another branch of physiology is comparative physiology, where you compare some organs and other organs or system to others. That is comparative physiology. There is another physiology, mathematical physiology, where you use mathematical calculations, and then there is yoga physiology. This is mostly studied in Eastern countries, where they do yogas in almost all their daily activities. Another way of categorizing physiology is by organisms. So by organisms, we'll find the animal organisms. In animal organism, we find mammal. In mammal, that is where we find human physiology. Like in our videos, we focus on clinical human physiologies. And then there is fish physiology within animal physiology and insect physiology. Another way of categorizing physiology is by process. By process, we will see ecophysiology, developmental physiology and evolutional physiology. So physiology can also be categorized by systems. So you can see muscular system. You know muscular system is made of muscles that they do contraction and help the body to move. There is a skeletal system that provides the shape to the body protection to the body and allows movement as well. And then the nervous system, which has the control center of the whole body, which is the brain, and guidance in so many activities. You can see some of the muscular system part, muscles, skeletal system, and then nervous system, which is made of the brain. Brain is part of the central nervous system and the spinal cord then there is peripheral nervous system. There is also the integumentary system, which is the skin that provides the barrier from exterior. It provides also homeostasis, like temperature regulation and an expression, like, you know, it excretes the sweat out of the body. There is your immune system, which protects the body against the disease and there is a reproductive system which helps within reproduction. There is respiratory physiology based on the respiratory system that does gas exchange. You know this is one of the part of respiratory system the lungs and cardiovascular system which is made of the heart the blood vessels which helps pump and carry blood throughout of the body there is also urinary system physiology that helps you know in blood filtration urine excretion balance electrolytes within the body etc so there is lymphatic system it also works as the immune system or lymphatic fluid saturation Go. There is also digestive system 
to digestion, absorption and nutrients to the body. Now, let's see the organizational structures or the organizational levels of physiology. It is start with the atom. Atom is the smallest organizational level of physiology. Atom is like hydrogen or oxygen. Then we go to molecule. Molecule is when two atoms or more than two atoms are combined together like this H2 or O2. The third level is molecule level. Here more than two atoms are together like H2O, water. You see there are two atoms of hydrogen and one atom of oxygen. The fourth level is organelle. Organelles, you know, they are these structures found within the cells, like mitochondria. Good, that is the fourth organizational level of physiology. The fifth organizational level of physiology is a cell. There are so many type of cells, like nervous cell, this neuron. There, there are so many types of tissue, example, epithelial tissue. Another organizational level, which is seventh, is the organ. There are so many organs, like this brain is organs, it's one of the organs of the nervous system. There is system level. The system is when more than one organs work together, they make what we call a system. Like here, there is a digestive system. Digestive system, there are organs like stomach, there is the tongue, the, the intestine. There are so many organs within the digestive system. And the final, which is the wide or the final organizational level of physiology, is the organism. The organism is the whole body. Good. Thank you, guys. We have seen what physiology is and how physiology is categorized is categorized in so many criteria you remember like the process in the process we have seen the evolution of physiology evolution of physiology we have seen the applied physiology we have seen the clinical physiology so many kind of physiologies and we have seen the organizational levels of physiology where we have seen from the first up to the ninth so thank you guys in brief that is what physiology is all about but here we'll be dealing with remember clinical human physiology and we'll be seeing at different level like cell level organ level that is where i will be based on also we can also see at molecular levels thank you guys and may god bless you Stay safe. All the best.